I have the boat here on uh, branches and vegetation. This is Sweet Gale and uh, it makes a good slider so I can load my boat and slide it in without a lot of uh, extra lifting. This is my survival pack. If I lose my canoe, um, I've got this on me. I need to make a video of what's in this. Several people have asked me on the channel what, what's in there. So whenever I'm in the boat, um, this, this kit is on me. Hello? Give us a call. There we go. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I reached a campsite at the end of day 14 here um, that was marked on the trip notes map. Um, never been here before, but the fire pit bears the signature of a certain person we know. Um, with the massive cap rock, completely unusable by a guy like me. Um, it's got a guard rock in the front here too. I'll have to remove that so I can rig my little grill. Um, it's got the standard bench, three logs this time, that's going to be comfy. If it doesn't rain, which it might. Um, but this site is uh, past, uh, past its best before date. Um, it's, it's undergone a blowdown. You see the open canopy there. It's quite a mess. There's an open spot there, but it's on a steep, steep slope. You could rig a tarp there, but I, I don't think you could sleep there unless you wedged a whole bunch of debris under yourself. That's quite, quite sloped. This is a, a very bizarre site. Um, there's been a lot of cutting of wood. This is a, a trail, um, probably a moose trail as well, but this is a trail for access within. There's been a bunch of cutting out here. That's a horrible lumpy site. Again, um, not great for a tent, but uh, it's good for a tarp. Look at, look at that forest there look at it isn't that horrible and the um, horrible I mean in terms of uh, campsites and safety I'll show you the spot I picked for my tent site the only open and level place I could find it's been all kinds of cutting here just a tremendous amount of cutting a lot of work that went on here and this is the only semi-level place I could find. It's not, it's very lumpy as well. And I've got a fresh blowdown on it that I'm gonna have to saw up and remove. And 
these trees are all really old. There's two snags. I pushed on them to see if they'd go. They didn't. Um, but what I do not need tonight is a windstorm. That would be, uh, I don't know how I'd sleep through that. Look at this place. These are, this is an old stand. It's, uh, again, fire origin, even aged. And it's time is, it's time is overdue and it's coming down. It's, uh, it's old. This would need a tremendous amount of work with uh, saws to find another flat spot. Wood supply for the fire is not a problem. On this monster fire rock pit thing, um, I managed to find a couple of small flat rocks and I'm tucked in to it. Lots of wood around. Some of it wet because it's horizontal so it gets all the snow and the rain. Um, but it didn't take too long to cut and split some. The loons are out front giving a show. I know you can't see them in the camera there. I'm lucky the rain seems to be holding off, although I don't trust it. I got the tarp set up. There they go.